Elon Musk's boring company confirms use of Tesla Model S, Model X, and Model 3 in new loop. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armen Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel. And if you would please share our videos on social media, we would greatly appreciate that. Elon Musk's boring company has confirmed the use of Tesla Model S, Model X, and Model 3 in its upcoming new loop. With several projects getting closer to reality at the boring company's vision is starting to become more and more clear. Musk has admitted that he started the company as a joke before it actually became serious and secured some major transportation projects. The goal of the Boring Company was always to build tunnels, but the Boring Company changed its strategy a few times when it came to the transportation system inside the tunnels. Now, with the Las Vegas Convention Center loop on track to be completed in the next few months, the Boring Company has been releasing more details about what it has been calling a loop. The goal has been to use electric vehicles with autonomous capabilities, enabling them to travel fast inside narrow tunnels. For the Las Vegas project, it was already confirmed that they would use Tesla vehicles, but they never confirmed which ones or even if they would be existing Tesla vehicles or they are building a new vehicle especially for that purpose. Now, the Boring Company has updated its frequently asked questions section on its website and released about information about the vehicles it plans to use in its loop. Here's a quote. Loop is an all-electric, zero-emissions, high-speed, underground public transportation system in which passengers are transported via capitable autonomous electric vehicles, AEVS, at up to 150 miles per hour through main artery tunnels between stations. AEVs are Tesla vehicles, Model S, Model 3, and Model X that operate autonomously within the loop system. This is the end of the quote, friends. The startup has also released several new concept images of three different boring company stations, designs, surface stations, subsurface stations, and subsurface open air stations, which you have been seeing in your screen. And I've talked about that in the past because boring company was going to, had finished that main tunnel artery in Las Vegas Confession and convention centers and the next was to build the three upper stations which they've been working on. Friends, considering these concept images and the references to Model S, Model 3 and Model X are coming just as the company is working to complete the Las Vegas project, it's likely going to be the system they plan to develop for the project. The Boring Company is planning to complete the project by the end of this year and have it ready and have it ready for the Las Vegas convention um, uh, ne ne next year. I'm glad to finally see images of Full Station, which hasn't been clear until now. We had only seen some uh, upper upper level uh, photos taken by our friends, but not the official images from Tesla. As of Tesla vehicles, that was to be expected, but there are still a few interesting questions. For example, since those vehicles are going to be operating completely anonymously within the tunnels, should they even have a steering wheel? That's a very important question because are we going to allow people to um, uh, drive it if they are steering wheels or we're going to uh, remove the steering wheels? What is Tesla going to do? Also, this might only be for Las Vegas project. We have heard from a San Bernardino country official last month and I reported that Tesla is making a 12 passenger electric van for the Boring Company's project in the region, though Tesla never confirmed the news themselves. But it came from a uh, top official from San Bernardino country. So let me know what you think about this, friends. Uh, it's very interesting. Looking at the Boring Company uh, website, it seems they will build loop-specific vehicles using a modified Model 3 uh, chassis, and the vehicle will hold up to 16 passengers. I wonder if that will eventually spawn a publicly available Tesla minivan. Uh, what do you think about this? Will, um, wouldn't 
wouldn't really be a nice better solution for a tunnel maybe i don't know i'm not surprised that tesla hasn't said anything about a 12 passenger vehicle specifically for the boring company loop they're pretty good at keeping secrets case in point the new roadster I just hope that when they do announce it, the 12 passenger mini minivan for the boring company, it will be something that could be marketed for other purposes as well, such as airport shuttles or nursing homes. They use 12 passenger vans all the time. Uh, also, here's the interesting thing about the 150 mile uh, speed at the Boring Company. I googled and saw Model S top speed was 155 miles uh, per hour um, governed. Maybe that uh, in the quote, if you remember, I read up to 50, 150 miles per hour statement by the Boring Company. Above refers to that. I don't know. I wonder if many Autobahn drivers travel at around that speed. That would then be real world testing at the speed by various customers. Uh, the reason I was wondering about that was the 150 miles per hour quote with only 2-3 feet distance to tunnel wall on each side. I know it's computer driven. I was thinking about a tire blowout or something. What if that happens? Maybe an Autobahn Tesla driver has experienced that scenario um, at that high speed. Um, let me know. Um, on the other hand, uh, people say I wouldn't have thought that atmospheric drag within a narrow tunnel would start to become quite significant at that kind of speed. So what do you think? What type of vehicles Tesla may use? Um, will they have steering wheels or no? Uh, or this, this, will this be Tesla Model S, Model X and Model 3 as we know them in the boring company's loop? Or they will be modified and specific ones? If modified and specific ones, which of them will, 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 they, will they be? Okay, friends. Well, thank you very much. Let me know what you think about these things. In the meantime, this is Armen Haraya from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel and also share our videos on social media. And um, ring the bell and like this video to show your appreciation of all the people that bring these videos to us. And I'll see you in our next Tesla report. God bless you. Take good care of your families and see you soon.